Hey guys, we'll jump right into it today. Some more classic vintage ACDC from the High Voltage album. We've got TNT. We'll jump right into this one today. Uh, last video I did was uh, It's a Long Way to the Top by ACDC from the High Voltage album. Go back to that album today and show you the main parts of TNT. Uh, it's not very hard to play on the three string cigar box guitar. Make sure that you are tuned to open G for this one. So for your low string you want a G note. Middle string you want D. High string tuned to G. If we strum all three, we get a G chord. Uh, to play this, I am using the Roland Micro Cube. I'm set on the brick combo. I've got my gain uh, probably set around one o'clock, tone about one o'clock. Got my volume pegged out, tone on here about 90%, I guess, uh, close to max. Get a little vintage tone. But we'll jump in how to play this song. I'll go through the main riff, the chorus, and also show you some things you can do for the crazy ending on this song as well. But you only need three chords to play the main riff for the verse and the same three chords for the chorus. What we need are an E, open G, and an A. So how do we make those with the open G tuning? The easiest way to play this is to make an E the way I'm going to show you. I'll show my fingers here. I have my ring finger on the low string at the fourth fret. That is a B note. My pointer finger on the second fret of the middle string. That is an E note. Pinky finger is on the high string at the fourth fret also for a B note. If you play all those together and strum, you get an E chord. Now some of you play the E chord by, by barring all the strings at the ninth fret. That is an E. But it's going to be a big jump for this song. It's possible to play it down here. A little more difficult making that A down here sometimes. Especially on this particular guitar, I have the necks a little, uh, not as wide as some of my others, so it can be kind of crunched. I like playing the song down here. Got more of a low pitch tone as opposed to making the E down here. That sounds more like a power chord. Uh, but you just need the E, G, and A. So the main riff is just in that order, E, G, A. That's how you start it. And you notice so I play that E, I release to mute that E chord. Listen. See how I release to stop it? I play G A. And also release to stop then. Then to come back on the riff, it's just A G E, or I'm sorry, G A G E. So we got E. Second part, G, A, G, E. Put them together. Okay, that's the riff to this song. Easy, uh, not difficult to pick up. E, G, A, G, A, G, E. Then we go into the chorus. We'll act like we're going into the chorus here. G, A. Let that A ring out. Then we're going to go A, G, E. 
And you notice there's that kind of little pause in between that and the song. It's like TNT, I'm dynamite. Then you repeat that. If you notice when I opened it up, I was doing this. I was muting the strings and just going just to keep a pace in between uh, the parts of the chorus. That's just something I did just to kind of stay on track. But, you know, for the chorus, it's A, G, B, dynamite, D, D, fight, the power load. And at this part, you're gonna go G, G, A. It's like, I'm a power low. Then if we go back to the verse, go down here to your high string on the second fret. Just hit that and bend that note up to a B. And it goes back into it. You could also do this. You could go to the high string on the second fret. Go from the second to fourth. Bend it a little. Either way sounds all right. That probably sounds closer to the record, but I've done it both ways. Okay, so I'll go through the chorus part again, just put it all together. That's gotcha. That's practically the whole song. You know, you got the so there's a little bit of a solo part where it's going through and playing kind of that same riff in the background for the rhythm. Um, and you know, you get to the part where they're basically doing the chorus again. They go, oi, oi, oi. Now, for the ending of this song, it gets a little crazy. Uh, basically, you hear the guitars trading off, and when you hear this strike, you you might hear. Okay, they're going back and forth like that. It's kind of hard to do both parts on this with just one guitar. But all I was doing was starting on the E, and then going down here and hitting an E note. Going back to the F, which is a half step up. F note down here on the uh, 10th. Another half step up for F sharp. Down here to the 11th for F sharp. Another half step up for G. G here. So it's moving in that order. But you're going to see it speeds up after you play that G. So really you can only do one part to this. And when you're kind of doing those back and forth, it would kind of sound like this as you get toward the end. Drop my pick. Exactly how it sounds when it ends. It just sounds like it kind of goes into a quick mess at the end. Uh, that's basically how it goes. That's kind of the way you can end that song. You hear, hear them trading off, but it keeps going up half a step from E, and it just gets quicker and quicker and quicker once you get past uh, the G on that. But that's kind of the way to end this song when you hear it on the album. It just kind of turns into a mess there at the end. I couldn't really go through the solo part because... I am not Angus Young, and basically who is uh, playing that, especially with just three strings. I'm sure there is somebody out there that can do that, but not me for that part. I'll just stick with the rhythm portions on this. But uh, just want to get another quick lesson for you. This was a breakdown of TNT, also from the High Voltage album. Um, might put out maybe one more classic AC, DC song, and uh, go back to doing some more of the 90s to present. But if you like the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. If there's something else you may want to hear, just let me know. And I appreciate all the views. Thanks.